Hello, I'm Andy McIndoo. I've been gardening all of my life, and I've had gardens of different sizes of my own, and I've worked on many different gardens, both real ones and also show gardens at Chelsea Flower Show. And my palette of plants is varied. I use perennials, I use climbers, I use grasses. I love my trees. But more than anything, the foundation of my planting is all shrubs in all of their different forms. I use them for their flowers, their foliage, their texture, and also that contribution that they make to planting throughout the year. Sometimes people tell me that shrubs are out of fashion, that they're not used as much in gardens today. I don't actually believe that, because I think whatever your primary interest, shrubs are really what hold it together. Shrubs, after all, are the backbone of the English garden. These woody plants retain their branch framework in winter, providing structure, and at other times of the year, flowers and foliage and interest at all levels in the planting picture. Shrubs come in all shapes and sizes, from dwarf bushy plants such as lavenders and heathers to statuesque monsters such as the cherry laurel. But what exactly is a shrub? Basically, a shrub is a plant which produces woody stems and it has several of them arising from ground level or near to it. That is the only essential difference between a shrub and a tree. A tree normally has one single woody stem arising from ground level and then branches higher up. However, there are always exceptions. Standard shrubs on one stem and multi-stem trees with several different trunks. But that's complicating matters. It's really enough to say that there are large shrubs and small trees and vice versa. There are both evergreen and deciduous shrubs. The former retain their leaves in winter, the latter lose them. And depending where you garden in the world, you may be limited as to the amount of evergreen shrubs that you can actually use. In cold regions, the evergreens really are mainly the coniferous species, plants that have adapted their foliage to be able to cope with drying cold conditions. And broad-leaved evergreens may be limited, whereas many of the deciduous shrubs cope well in freezing conditions.